here we are. This unit we moved the other day, $783 something. We didn't get a chance to go through these boxes. So I set them here before we went to the flea market. I didn't want to unbox them at the flea market. It's just too much hassle. People will look at me crazy. Everybody's always like, why is this guy filming everything and this and that? And then I got customers coming in like a hundred times. How much for this? This is three bucks, this is five bucks. It's just too much hectic, all the anxiety of it in my brain. I brought it back to my storage. We're going to unbox it here. Here we go. What's left of that unit? Hopefully we'll find something good. Keep your fingers crossed. Right here, the first box says plastic stuff. Not probably the most desirable thing you wanna see on a box when you're opening it up. First off, it's safe space stacking that together. Second of all, America. This is a nice basket. What is this? This a long and burger? That'd be nice. Nope, 2004 TS. Peter Boro. I have to look that up. Can you see that? Let's look that up. Plastic mixing bowls. We'll use this box to put some of our next box in. Glass, also one of my least favorite when you hear a kitchen glass box. Looks like pot scroff. Nope. Corning. Lots of corning. Corning dishes. Looks very Christmassy. And the red cups. A lot of red cups. I already took a bag for my house, but I won't take these because they're out of the bag. Mom's glass and Terry Terry or Hall maybe. This could have some intrigue to it. Mom stuff. Another box. They had a lot of these boxes, 1995. Pier one import. Ooh, flameless candle. Doesn't smell. You guys wanna see? Doesn't smell. More pier one import. Moti, the vase. And another one. That's kind of cool. It's got to be ten dollars. Nice little, little imports lantern. Halloween stuff. Bark off. Petty paws. That's a couple dollar box. Nothing extravagant. Um, I will be uh, very happy to bring this out though because that type of stuff does sell. right there no name etched maybe 10 bucks maybe eight as I always say something is only worth what somebody's willing to pay a lot of glass you guys know that this is one of my least favorite things to find simple cups looks like it's a whole cup set in here if I go by the way it feels Another cup like that. The whole set of the cups down there on the bottom. Glass heavy kitchen stuff. Another 
they have their little vase type thing. Cute. Vintage Pyrex. I think it's vintage. That's a good eBay item. Cheap glass Corel home. Several little glass bowls. Another dish. The infamous blue Walmart bag. Find them in every unit. The blue Walmart bag. More Corel. Corel was their, their go-to flavor on the dishes. Sorry about all the dish breaking and the glass slamming, but it's so... One of my favorite boxes is any box that has no words on it. Because you never know what's in there. And I feel like when there's no words, they're trying to uh, keep something from being seen. $19.99 at Ross. Almost a good eBay item, but if it's $19.99 there. Another twin flannel sheet. What do we got here? Flashlights. Christmas decor. Flashlight. The Easter Bunny. We got Christmas stuff. Some towels. Another lantern. It's like the light box. More Christmas stuff. It's like a hall box. Frosties. Tons of Frosties. America. Land that I love. My country is of the... Okay. Every day is laundry day. Welcome to life of a child. A parent taking care of a child. A woman's work is never done. Amen to that. I feel you there, ladies. I feel you there. What do we got here? Looks like we got... I'm going to guess a piggy bank. Yeah. No money. Things to be... The kind of motif for this storage has been kitchen stuff and house decor. Very little clothes, very little personal items. Just this type of stuff. More cups, more dishes, another cake plate. Baby girl, if you're out there listening, watching, once again, this is a, a cake plate we discussed this day at the flea market. And you asked what that was for. Crystal. They have a box off the side. So, ooh, it's a mini cake plate. It's a pie plate. Cookie plate. That's two of them, baby girl. She was asking me today what those, what those were. Chantel. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Christmas, more Christmas. And that's a wrap on this. $15, $15 tops kitchen box. Dean. This might be a few bucks. That might be a ten dollar set. She said like she probably has a ridiculously overpriced brand. Crystal bowls, crystal plates. See, this is not very good packing. Here, all that glass. There's no, there's no wrapping in between anything. Another one of those gravy bowls. on Hutch Sterling Silver Set. That's what daddy needs. Ooh. What do we got here? Platinum Quartz. Is that a Harley? Comes to look into that. They did have a lot of Harley stuff. 
proud to be a trucker. Okay, they was on the road. Curtain hangers. Genuine motorcycles. $20 nutcrackers. Look at that. Anything Harley Davidson like they say, they usually say the HD stands for $100. Linux picture frames. Home goods was $9.99. Maybe we'll see what the kids can do with those on eBay. Kids have been doing a lot of eBay, so we're letting them try more things. The more they do, the more it makes me want to put things on eBay. Doilies, Christmas ornaments, shelf pans. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay. One box. Then, almost threw the knife away, guys. You guys see me do that all the time. Frosty, another frosty, some weird little pinball machines. We got an Xbox. What a mess! Christmas decor. What do we got here? This looks kind of. It's another one of those. Tall things, I bet. Yep, look at that. Remember, we just had one of those a minute ago. Now we got a pair. 38 bucks. $38. Christmas dishes. Look at that. Inside of a Christmas bowl. Red, I should say. Most of this box is a bunch of wasted space. This is crazy. Made in Italy. Six ninety nine. Shout out to anything and everyone made in Italy. Oh, that was fun, guys. That was fun. Another Peter Boro basket. Once again, I have to look these up because I don't know if this has any real value. I know that Longenberg does, but I've never heard of a Peter Boro basket company. That's the second one. Starbucks coffee. Michaela's been listing tons of Starbucks coffee cups to eBay. We have been going full force with star with ebay lately guys i don't know if you guys had a chance to check that out stored auction pirate ebay that is just a regular basket this is a fake plant it needs a little water it's looking a little dry ha 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 look at that just every pier one imports base that came out in the last that's a Starbucks cup too. Believe it or not, Starbucks stuff is sellable. That one was $22, no, $19.95. We just put up in lots. We just make big lots of stuff. We have a big lot of them already. Now we can make a second lot. It's a nice beer mug. Put it in the freezer with a little bit of water. Freeze it up. Make your cup nice and cold. table candle holders it's almost like they were a home decorator and imagine that starbucks no sticker on that we'll put that on ebay party stuff 
chip and dip holders. Whew. More. Saw a bunch of these today. Flashlights and batteries. Huh. Wow. $29.99 at home. Because they were at a they must have had a home goods card. Because this is just whew, I don't even want to say. I say this often when it comes to selling storage units when it comes to the stuff that we do. And the average home in America has all the same stuff. Every house you go in, somebody has potholders, believe it or not. They're not always brand new. They're not always low end, they're not always high end, but everybody has the same stuff. They got electric knives. They've got useless cuffs that do nothing. Plastic trays from stuff they should have thrown away. They've got their pots. They've got their dinner server trays when people come over. They got some form of a blender. Every kitchen in America has the same stuff. A DVD collection. What style DVDs were they watching? This person, their crutch obviously was Starbucks. Some people collect Pepsi. Some people collect NASCAR. Some people collect all sorts of things. This person collected Starbucks cups. It's just trying to figure out what the person was into, how they took care of their stuff. What motif were they? This person was Pier 1 Imports. All Pier 1 Imports in and home goods. They loved home goods. But when you go to sell this stuff, having the same stuff as everybody else, you have to really think about what your pricing is going to be because everybody's selling the same stuff, just a different, slightly different version because that person has that brand. Because every home in America has the same basic concept of stuff. Amway, that's a good brand. Now I'm intrigued to look in here. This is a good eBay brand. Not great, but it's decent. I would put this on eBay. Since we got the eBay team going, now let's see if we have more Amway in here. This looks, no, no. Amway Queen. Go to their side. Maybe this one is. Yeah, I guess it is. Yes, Amway Queen. That will go on eBay. That will go on eBay. Hanging everything around. There's no hitch there. Hopefully we can find that one somewhere else. I'll emphasize that this was an odd unit. There was no bed. There was no dressers. No TVs. I feel like there's another unit coming in this facility that belongs to it. This is almost capable. Dang, I want one of these. You guys see me make tacos all the time. I want to keep that. Dibs. That's funny, huh? Dibs. No one's here to outdib me. Plastic. Cheap knives made in China.
Jigori knife sharpener. Probably a QVC thing. We get another one of those. Probably where those knives came from. That's about it in this box. Literally. But, huge score tortilla holder for the house. Y'all know I love to cook. Whistling kettle. That's kind of cool if you do any type of tea making or coffee making. Knife sets are cool. Always a plus, depending on what they are. Sabotar. Sabatia. I don't know why I didn't show that. I guess sometimes my brain, I forget what I'm doing. I'm taking that home. Somebody will drink that. Somebody will come over and want some wine up dinner. I get lost in what I'm doing. Sometimes I forget the camera's even on. I am so comfortable with it on and forgetful. Way out of my shell. Used to never be able to do that. It's Christmas stuff. That holds a bottle somewhere. That holds the wine bottle. That was the wine bottle holder. Another clear vase. We didn't have had enough clear candle vase holder thingamajiggers. Nice. So I like when you open up a box, you see vintage Pyrex. That is a vintage one, Pyrex. Good eBay item. Forget what it goes for. I'm guessing at least $19.99. Well worth having one of the kids put that up. These are newer Pyrex. I wouldn't list these to eBay. They're newer. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm saying I wouldn't. I'm thinking this is Amway. I'm gonna put it in the Amway box anyway. And let the kids determine that. I think this might be the lid we are looking for. We got another Amway Queen. Another Amway Queen. I think that's it. Nope. Oh, one broke. One handle broke off that. All in all, that little unbox was not the most intriguing of unboxings I've done in my storage career. But we got some cool items that will definitely go on eBay. We have several of these Amway Queen pots and pans. These are definitely worth eBay. I'm not sure what they're worth, but I know, I just remember from finding them before. Hey, look, there I am. I remember from finding them before. I'm guessing that I can probably get somewhere. I'm just guessing off the top of my head, the kids will look it up. But this whole set, you got one big one, several medium ones. It looks like one pot is missing a lid, but nonetheless, that should be like 80 to 100. I'm speculating. Could be wrong. We got another lot of Starbucks cups. The woman collected Starbucks cups on my eBay now, or unless it's sold. Michaela already put up several different Starbucks in a lot and by themselves. Right here, Harley Davidson nut crackers. These are all stuff I'm going to keep aside for eBay. I'm guessing if these were originally... 40 then mark down to 9.99 maybe i get 20 for the pair 
two vintage Pyrex here. Ooh, we got to put this. This is not that cool. Excommunicate this here. Two vintage Pyrex. Those are definitely eBay. Those will go up. Haven't had a chance to look these up. The America. America. Petersboro. Peterboro. Basket Company. Made in USA. Have to look both those up. This bad boy. Coming home with me. For my tortillas. And I guess we'll let them put these up. $20 bills are good. To, I like listing $20 bills. The kids are even doing $10 ads. So anything that gets them making more ads. I know I can probably get definitely more on eBay than I could at the flea market. This one is originally marked at Ross, $19.99. I think we can get $20 on eBay. We probably won't get that on the flea market. But somebody will pay to get that to their door. Now I got to load all of these boxes for my flea market tomorrow. That's everything we just went through. Putting them slowly in there. Thank you all for watching this unboxing. Let me know below, comment below if you're liking this style where I'm using, where I'm taking the boxes back to my storage, where I'm putting it on a tripod, where I'm taking it a little more effort in the best I can. There's only so much you could do. This business is work. Hustle, grind, rewind is just a simple analogy to the overwhelming amount of work that it actually takes to move a storage unit. You usually have 24 to 48 hours to get them out. You have to go through stuff. You want to get there and buy more. You get piled up. You get too many units and you're not selling enough. All of a sudden, you're paying more yourself to store this stuff. And you have to get through the process. So you have to move at a certain pace. And I buy a lot of units because the cost of living where I am is high. The cost of buying storage is high. The supply and demand makes everybody out there selling it. So the selling the price is low for me. So I move fast for that reason. So there's only so much I could do to slow it down. But I'm trying to do it this way where I take the boxes back here. And I want to know what you guys think below about me doing it that way much love blessings thanks for watching this video ah. that's how we live it don't be mad at the system it's simply how we've existed i hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business